In these clips, we see U.S. ships under attack and damaged by kamikazes. It's up to the ship's anti-aircraft guns to shoot down these attackers. The first guns to open fire will be the 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose guns. Their Mark 37 fire control director had shortcomings, though. It was not effective at ranges less than 3,000 yards, and each director could only track a single target. To increase the combat effectiveness of the ship's 5-inch guns, the fleet proposed swapping out the long-range and accurate, but slow and complex Mark 37 and fire control directors with the simple and fast Mark 51 directors. The proposal was met with major pushback from the ship's captains. However, the benefits were immediate. The guns maintained their short-range accuracy, multiple targets could be tracked, and plane strikes increased by a factor of three. The intent of this video is to review a kamikaze attack profile, the typical light cruiser anti-aircraft gun response, the limitations of the 5-inch 38 caliber gun directors, the director's modifications that increase the gun's short-range combat effectiveness, and review the results of a Navy cruiser which implemented these changes. This is the channel's 7th video outlining U.S. Navy ship-based anti-aircraft armaments including the 20mm Orlikan, 40mm Bofors, 5-inch 38 caliber guns, iron ring sights, Mark 14 gun sights, site and the Mark 37 director. The main and secondary gun batteries of a cruiser are shown on this page from a 1953 U.S. Navy Fire Control Fundamentals document. There are six 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose twin gun turrets, two along the center line, two along the starboard side, and two along the port side. These guns are controlled by two Mark 37 fire control directors located here. The cruiser's gun directors can control multiple turrets, but each director can only track a single target. The main batteries do not fire at aerial targets. This model shows a Cleveland-class cruiser with its exposed secondary battery of two starboard-side 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose twin-gun turrets, two centerline 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose twin-gun turrets, and the forward and aft Mark 37 fire control directors. The Mark 37 director's exterior features and information flow to the guns are shown on this image from a May 1944 Navy gunnery document. The seven-man crew is housed within the director splinter shield. It has a 15-foot stereoscopic rangefinder for determining the plane's slant range and telescopic ports to determine the plane's elevation and azimuth. If the target is obscured, the plane's range, elevation, and azimuth can be taken by the director's radar. The fire control system's Mark 1 computer and Mark 6 stable element are located in the plotting room shown here in a destroyer. This chart from a 1945 U.S. Navy kamikaze attack document outlines a typical kamikaze flight path. The ship's 5-inch gun sighting the target by the Mark 37 director will open fire at their maximum effective range of 12,000 yards or 6.8 miles. The ship's AA gun crews will be at general quarters well prior to this attack. The cruiser will maneuver to face its broadside towards the threat. Although more of the ship's area is exposed, there are more guns to bear in the threat direction outweighing this vulnerability. At 26 miles out, the Mark 37 directors using their Mark 12 radars will be tracking the threat. The director's control officer, seen here at a station within the director, together with the ship's CIC, will pick out the target to fire upon. This is usually the plane considered to be the largest threat. At 12,000 yards or 6.8 miles, the 5-inch gun batteries will open fire. The plane, traveling at 300 knots, will contact the ship in 71 seconds. For reference, the 40mm Bofors gun's effective range is 2.3 miles out, and the 20mm Orlikan gun's effective range is 1 mile out. This page from a 1945 U.S. Navy World War II ordnance document outlines concerns and proposes a solution to maximize the combat effectiveness of the 5-inch guns. The Mark 37 director-controlled 5-inch dual-purpose guns worked well when firing at targets long range. The directors were not accurate at ranges less than 3,000 yards and could only engage one target per director. To mitigate these issues, the gun's fire control system needs to shift to a simpler local fire control system. This was a step backwards in the evolution of gun fire control. The battleship USS North Carolina was experimenting with using their Mark 37 radar-directed fire control system to control their Bofors 40mm quad mounts. What they found, though, is that the Bofors simple Mark 51 directors could also control the ship's 5-inch 38 caliber turrets. This is an example of a Mark 51 director using the Mark 14 gyroscopically stabilized computing gun sight. These were used to remote control the 40mm Bofors guns. This is a rear view of the director. The target is tracked by an illuminated reticle through this non-magnified optical window. It has a backup iron ring speed sight and post. This is the position of the director relative to the Bofors it's controlling. 
To be clear, the proposal is to have each of the 5-inch 38 caliber turrets to be under local control by a Mark 51 director. The Mark 51 director will now alone calculate the 5-inch projectile's ballistics correcting for the lead needed, positioning the gun barrels in elevation and azimuth to get strikes. The Mark 37 director, Mark 1 computer, and stabilizing elements to be cut out of the loop. The range of the 5-inch guns is limited to around 3,000 yards. This is due to the non-magnified Mark 14 gun sight's optical limitation. The Mark 51 Director cannot be used for surface targets, nor can they be used with time-fused projectiles. They must be 100% proximity-fused. These shortcomings are not significant enough to negate the benefit of the 5-inch batteries under local control, and many ships adopted this change. Many ships place their 5-inch batteries under the control of the local Mark 51 directors to deal with surprise attacks, as described on this page from a 1945 anti-aircraft summary action document. If the target was picked up at long distance, they had time to shift control of the guns to the long-range Mark 37 directors. All combat ships have the capability to switch their 5-inch gun directors from the Mark 37 to the local Mark 51 types, as discussed on this page from a 1945 Navy anti-aircraft summary document. These directors will remote control their 5-inch and Bofors guns. This change allows more speed and flexibility in directing the 5-inch gun systems. The guns will react better to enemy planes evasive action than the slower Mark 37 directors. The combat accuracy will depend on the experience of the Mark 51's pointer, range setter, and the Mark 14 gun sight's ballistics. This image shows a Mark 51 director, pointer, and range setter controlling a 40mm quad Bofors and a 5-inch turret. Usually, the Mark 51's Mark 14 gun sight's ballistics are set to the 5-inch guns, and the connected Bofors guns will have some error as a result. Shifting 5-inch control from the Mark 37 director to the local Mark 51 director was met with fleet resistance. They will be transferring control of these heavy guns to less experienced crews in a friendly ship and plane area. The ship's commanding officers were reluctant to make the switch. They desired to keep the guns under the control of the Mark 37 centralized and experienced crews. This page outlines the Bofors 40mm projectile error expected when linked to a gun director set to the 5-inch 38 caliber projectile's ballistics. The 40mm projectile error for a target diving at a 60-degree angle at a range of 5,000 yards is 40 yards short. The error decreases to 5 yards at a range of 3,000 yards. This page details an anti-aircraft fire control system of the Cleveland-class destroyer USS Vincennes. When kamikaze daylight attacks are expected, the two centerline 5-inch turrets will remain Mark 37 directed. The aft centerline turret will be controlled by the aft Mark 37 director and the forward centerline turret will be controlled by the forward Mark 37 director. Although the centerline turrets may not be able to engage short range diving attackers, they will be able to engage up to two attackers at long range. The ammo of the centerline turrets will be a 50-50 mix of timed and proximity fused projectiles. Although proximity fuse projectiles are three times more combat effective than time fuse projectiles, it is desirable to keep the ammo mix around 25% time fuses as they more effectively show the location of the threat by their projectile bursts. This will aid in identifying the threat location to the Bofors and Orlikan gun crews. Visible bursts also increase ship morale and decrease enemy aircraft pilot morale. The four side 5 inch twin gun turrets will each be under a local Mark 51 director control. The directors will also remote control the Bofors 40mm guns, but director ballistics will be based on the 5 inch projectile. These guns will be under a local Mark 51 director remote control. They can each track a separate target. Since these guns will engage targets at ranges less than 3,000 yards and the directors do not have time fuse setting calculation ability, the projectiles will be 100% proximity fused. The decentralization of the cruiser's 5-inch side guns was considered very effective against kamikaze aircraft. Overall, it is estimated a kamikaze plane under attack by a proximity fused 5-inch gun is three times less likely to survive if the guns are directed by the Mark 51 director versus the Mark 37 director. If you have found this 5-inch gun director video interesting and informative, please consider commenting, liking, and or subscribing to World War II U.S. Bombers.